quick before we jump into it, I want to let you guys know that if you're interested at all in G Fuel, from now until the 7th, it is 30% off with code ESPRESSO. You can head over to the link down there in the description below if you guys want to check it out for the first time, want to get a restock or whatever it may be, but 30% off your entire order as opposed to just the standard 10% that my code ESPRESSO normally offers. So check that out if you're interested, but back to the regular scheduled content. On Tuesday for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One users, as well as yesterday for PC, Update 1.17 went live across the board. And so therefore, it brought with us, at least on the PlayStation 4 front, a ton of new stuff in the way of a new operation, new maps, new blackout changes and adjustments, and so on and so forth. That stuff again is coming on Tuesday for those on Xbox One and PC, but along with that, that went live globally were some weapon tunings, more so to the SMGs. That was pretty much the big thing here out of this. There wasn't really all that much outside of that that was changed. No other weapons outside of those classifications were specifically mentioned, but the SMGs in particular ended up getting a buff. So today I want to talk to you guys about some of the most improved weapons and the best classes to use with them, as well as talk a little bit about the brand new weapon, the Tiger Shark, because that in itself is an absolute beast of a weapon. It hasn't gotten any specific buffs or nerfs just yet, but it still seems to pack a punch right out of the gate. So with that said, let's talk a little bit about the weaponry. To me, I want to start out with the Damon SMG. This one was one that was pretty solid beforehand, but it even got buffed, so it's even better now. So this is something that the adjustment made to this was an increase to all of the ranges here from the six to eight shot ranges so that you got a little bit more firepower here with this. But the biggest part in the adjustment is that it created a five hit kill range that previously was not there. So that means that previously it took a full two bursts to end up getting a kill. And while that one extra shot may normally be on target, it's also something that while it might seem minuscule, you do feel the difference in terms of the TTK or time to kill. So for this, I would definitely recommend it if you're an SMG player, to which, of course, you can see on screen right now the class setup that I would recommend here at this one of ELO High Caliber, Hybrid Mags, Grip, Rapid Fire, as well as the wild cards of Primary Gunfighter 1 and 2, naturally, with all those attachments on it, and a perk of Dead Silence. That's the only thing we're really going to be using for the perks here on this one. But breaking down this class a little bit further, the ELO site, I really don't dislike many iron sights in the game, but the Daemon is one that is in that category if it's not my favorite. I wouldn't prefer it, so I definitely would rather have a red dot or reflex, but I prefer that elo if at all possible so it gets rid of that periphery of the iron outline. Then, high caliber is absolutely massive, and this is something that you can interchange one or two pieces here with this one. Probably the best one that I'd say is maybe get rid of grip, if at all, but high caliber is sometimes greatly paired with high caliber 2 here as well with this class setup, so you can swap it out if you want to, but I'm still fine with just what I run here on this as well. High caliber, of course, giving you that extra headshot lethality. Hybrid mag is giving you a little bit more ammo in each magazine and also the ability to reload faster. Grip, of course, gives you that more stability, especially over range. And then rapid fire is something that is fantastic here because the daemon is a burst weapon, but the rapid fire greatly decreases the burst delay. And so that's something that will definitely help you in chaining together those bursts, making it almost full auto. And it's insanely good if you have a decent trigger finger. So with rapid fire definitely recommend that one as for perks i only run dead silence here on this class and it's the one of the few times that i've run minimal perks here on this but for this reasoning of course i want to stack up on what the daemon has to offer and therefore i need to run primary gunfighter one and two so unfortunately i gotta sacrifice some things here and there so we don't run a perk one or two but dead silence i think is probably the most important thing out of this i cannot stand the sound of my own footsteps giving me away to my enemies and so therefore I feel like of all the perks that I have on offer, that one is the most useful to me. Feel free to swap that out with whatever you want as well, though. That's completely personal preference. And then finally, we round it off with Stim Shot because healing, whenever you want to get close quarters and get up in the faces of your enemies, healing is absolutely necessary. Moving along to the next weapon that I think is honestly tremendously improved. This one, and you'll see why in just a second, is the Switchblade. This weapon, I'll be totally honest with you, in Grand Heist, I didn't touch it at all. And so therefore, whenever I was honestly even going in to try and make some idea of a decent class here at this one, I had to start at a fresh start, level one. I didn't touch this thing at all because I really wasn't a fan of it. I played around with it for a little bit, but it just didn't feel right whenever I used it. And when you take a look at it, rightfully so. Previously, the max damage range was only 2.5 meters in game. That literally means you had to be on top of the player to end up securing a five hit kill. Anything more than that was six or seven or eight, and then it dropped off to abysmal ranges. So you had to absolutely unload, and with the magazine size, being, again, less than ideal, you didn't get all that much room for error, and also, you didn't get all that much room for, say, things like double kills, let alone triple or 
quad feeds or anything like that. That said, when this update rolled around though, it changed that tremendously. The close range five shot kill range was increased by 300%, taking it from 2.5 meters in game to 7.5, and that's kind of the basis we'll see around the baseline for all SMGs now at this point, but that's a wildly high difference and you can definitely tell. No longer do you need to be on top of players to secure the kill, and it can actually shred through enemies now with the right class setup. Now, personally, I was playing around with all sorts of different classes here at this one again because I didn't really have the weapon all that progressed whenever this update rolled around. So, I was playing around with things like optics of reflex or elo sights and also not. But the fundamental class setup that I would recommend here around this revolves around quick draw, rapid fire, rapid fire 2 possibly, and then hybrid mags as well. So for this, of course, you end up having quick draw allowing you to get that gun up and ready for a gunfight a little faster. Rapid fire is actually massive on this because when you're that close quarters, you're really going to need to shred through enemies. So that fire rate is definitely key and the damage isn't as high as things like an LMG or a rifle. So you want as much as you can get from that. And so rapid fire 2 also increases that even further. So then the only thing left is hybrid mags, and well, that's just simply because the ammo capacity still isn't the greatest, so allowing you to have a little more ammo and also reload a little faster, that's something you want to play close quarters and in tight as well, so that reload and ammo capacity is huge. On top of that, we run stim shot for, again, absolute necessary healing, and then also the perks of dead silence as well as lightweight, just so we can traverse the map and get behind the enemy lines a little faster, and also without them really noticing. The next weapon that I think was probably one of the most improved here out of this weapon buff was that of the GKS. Now, this one, again, very similarly to the Switchblade as well as then the Daemon, comes down to the range adjustment that it had. This was increased by 150%, bringing it from 5 meters to a more sturdy 7.5 meter range. Again, that's kind of the base now here with all of this, but the GKS can absolutely slap and could as is, but now with it having a little bit more damage at range, it's definitely a more viable option, close and slightly mid-range as well. So for this class, we end up running the Reflex, Grip, Quick Draw, as well as Long Barrel with the perks of Scavenger, Lightweight, and Dead Silence. This one is more so a wholesome loadout rather than loading up on the weapon, on the perks, or whatever it may be. So for this, if I was using the regular GKS, I'd be totally fine without any sort of optic, but because I end up having the Damascus from Season 1 or Operation First Strike, I want that 25% extra XP boost there that it affords, but I'm not a huge fan of the Iron Sights. So take this one as you will. Of course, you don't need any sort of optic, but I run the Reflex just so I can negate that Iron Sight that is there. As for the other attachments, the Grip is something that I end up rocking as well, just for simple stability. You can end up running Grip too, but I don't necessarily think, unless you're really going for some range kills, that it will help all that much or make too much of a difference in a closer quarters engagement and also somewhat mid-range as well. Quick draw allowing you to get that up a little faster, and you can definitely zoom through that. And Long Barrel, of course, affording you a little bit more whenever it comes to that damage drop-off. Scavenger, Lightweight, and Dead Silencer, pretty self-explanatory. I like my ammo, and of course, with the Spectre dropping as of recently, I really wasn't trying to use Crash. I wanted to play around with some of the new specialists, so therefore I could end up getting my ammo back without having to worry about swapping a weapon off the ground or anything like that. Lightweight, of course, more mobility and Dead Silence, so I can be a little more stealthy. But that's the SMGs out of the way, and a lot of the big weapon tuning that actually came along with it. But while these were the only things that were really changed in, changed in a drastic fashion, one thing was also introduced that was honestly a powerhouse to begin with. We ended up seeing a melee weapon as well as an LMG introduced with Operation Spectre rising in the tier progression along with that. At tier 50, you end up getting the Tiger Shark, and this thing is definitely worth going for. It is fantastic. Statistically, it's not the best because then that would actually encourage a pay-to-win mentality. It's more so falling in line, but has some downfalls and upsides as well as other DLC weapons have also. But that said, this is now toted for its mobility and also faster than normal reload speed, so it's something you can end up running and gunning with quite a bit or holding down an area depending on what you may prefer. This I end up running the ELO stock high caliber as well as fast mags for the weapon attachments itself and this is a killer setup here in my opinion. Whenever we take a look at it we end up having ELO of course giving us a little bit more extra precision here at that one. Stock is something that is not entirely necessary because the weapon of course is great for mobility all around in that style of play but stock is also big in its own right. It doesn't have terrible ADS movement to begin with but the ability to be able to strafe corners makes this class go from solid to absolutely great. 
High Caliber is something that, of course, is absolutely massive again. It's an LMG, so it already has some extra damage compared to other weapons in other classifications. But whenever you hit those headshots, it makes the kill time wildly fast. So if you can be accurate and have that on, you're going to be securing some decent kills. And then Fast Mags, again, takes that already decent reload time, and especially best among LMGs, and makes it even better. So you can keep getting in that fight right back into it, even if you do need to dip out and reload. The thing is, it's got a mag size of 48, so theoretically you should be able to pick off 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 kills maybe even before you have to reload, depending on your accuracy. So it's absolutely a powerhouse, and while the other weapons were buffed, I think this one still takes the cake in terms of weapon adjustments or additions, I guess you could say. So that said, that's where we're going to wrap it up. Wanted to keep you guys in the loop here on some of the best improved weapons and also one that was introduced that is an absolute animal of its own as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Is there anything in particular that out of these weapon buffs you ended up liking the most? Is there anything you may be a little bit annoyed that you keep getting killed by? Whatever it may be, feel free to let me know your thoughts. But try these classes out. Let me know how you do as well. Maybe tweet those to me also. Love to see what you guys can end up accomplishing with these class setups. Always throw these out there because I like to think they work well for me. So I'd love to see what they do for you but hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things black ops 4 mp blackout zombies we get you covered with the best of updates news information tips tricks all that good stuff so if any of that interests you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing and if you guys also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram there's the best places to get connected outside of youtube but i can live on both those if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question wherever it may be that link is down there in the description below but on that side now i thank you guys all so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace